It's a beautiful day out in Artezi, but I, I have no idea why you brought me here. Listen, you always follow me around, yeah. right? Because it's always so fun being with you. <laughs> Today we're doing something spectacular. We've never done this before together. Mm -hmm. We are at the launch of the Iveco truck, which oh, is behind right. us. Oh, is that what that is? That's the massive thing <laughs> behind us. So they're launching this thing today and it's going to be amazing. I love Italian brands, Zee. Oh, of course. But Zee, you're always coming out to launches, you know, and you get to drive all these lacquer cars. Can I drive today? Listen, I'm happy with you driving. I'll be behind the scenes though, living La Vida Loca. I've seen, <laughs> you know, Buddy. Eh. What do you host? A hostess? Yay! I've seen pilots, those are my type, so I don't want to waste any time. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. After herding the guests into Iveco daily minibuses, they were transferred to the launch venue, a marquee tent which, inspired by an aviation theme, had been converted into a business class aircraft cabin. This high tent, hear what I did there? The excitement to dizzying, atmospheric, stratospheric. Okay, okay, I think you get it. And finally, the new S-Way was revealed. So tell me, Martin, why is this event happening? I think over the last eight years, we've been running the, the 480 Strahlers very successfully in the country. Iveco has been busy with a lot of development on new product, uh, innovation, new technology. Uh, we've been waiting for the new product to arrive on our shore. So 2019, this product was launched in Europe. Then COVID hit, so the delays in that. So it's been a long awaited time for us to, to get this product to our shoreline. And yeah, fantastic today to get it, yeah. What's better is I think we're all very hungry to interact, our clients, the suppliers, our banking partners. So a fantastic day to have, just not just the new product, but also spending time with the clients. Talk about what our industry is doing, what's the innovation, what's the next new thing to come. And I think for us to be able to launch this now is the right time. We're coming out of our COVID regulations. So it makes a lot of sense now to be able to get together with, with our client base. So you've told me about the trucks and I've heard about the fleet. Now tell me a little bit about uh, your clientele. So we, we service a vast amount of, of different industries from commodities, so customers running coal, copper, uh, side tipping applications, to fast moving consumable goods. You'll see the vehicles running with the big tort liners down to Cape Town. So a very variety driven industry, but you've got to specifically design things around every industry type. So you can group them, and then obviously you've got the subcategories of clients wanting different things like LED lights as a simple example. One wants it on the outside, another wants it closer to the inside. So customization is very important, but I think you've got to have a particular range of trucks that can suit these industries as a broader spectrum. The launch of the Iveco S-Way in South Africa is a big affair with a total of 261 guests in attendance over the two days, including customers, dealers, Iveco staff and Iveco suppliers. We had a full day of activities ahead of us, so the organizers wanted to make sure we had enough energy to sustain us. Given Iveco's Italian roots, the food was nothing if not mouth-watering. And while Z was sampling the breakfast fare, I decided to get up close and personal with Iveco's new S-Way. Hey guys, this is Dieter Engelbrecht and he's going to be telling us about the new S-Way. Dieter, why does it look the way it does? Well, thank you so much for asking. What's interesting is South Africa follows European spec trucks. That's the reason why our trucks are very limited with our length. So if we look at Australian and American trucks, you'll see they're much bigger, much longer. And that's why we've got this flat front end with the motor sitting underneath. Now I see there's a couple of features here. Can you tell me about them? Now that's where the really cool stuff starts coming into play. If we're looking at trucks nowadays, think about everything you're getting in a car, that's what we're getting in these trucks. Okay. So if we start looking at it, I've got adaptive cruise control, I've got emergency brake assist, we've got lane departure warnings, we've got LED headlights, cornering lights, automatic rain sensors, automatic light sensors. 
It's like you, you're buying a really good saloon car, but you're getting it in the truck. No, exactly. That's what it's getting at. And then also, believe it or not, the trucks are designed with aerodynamics in mind. If I'm looking at this, I think to myself, where's the aerodynamics? Right. But as we zoom in, we'll start seeing how they're trying to get that airflow, because it's all about fuel consumption that they're trying to get down. If we look closely towards the truck, we can see where all the cool stuff is hidden. At the bottom here, this is my adaptive cruise control, right. as well as my emergency brake assist. As I go up, there at the top is all the cameras that are picking up the lane departure warning, the automatic light sensors, the rain sensors, all of that. If I then come down to this side, look where those arrows are starting to get in for that fuel consumption, LED headlights, as well as bending lights. And then the last cool feature, wondering how you're gonna wash a truck's windscreen? Built-in step. Boom, all right. Now, as we walk around the side and we look at the truck, what you'll see is this is known as a six by four. What that means is we've got six wheels, but four of the wheels have got a power. Now, I'm gonna open the door. The fun stuff. This is where the party is at. All right. If we look at the trucks nowadays, it's all designed around rider comfort. Because the more comfortable the driver is, the less fatigue he gets and the longer he can last. So, if I look firstly on the side, think about how they're hooking those trailers, those massive long trailers. Mm -hmm. Now, this system here lets the truck, when I'm standing on the outside, reverse back, pull forward, what? drop the suspension down to hook it easier, or lift the suspension. So I'm standing on the outside, and this is a remote control to maneuver the whole truck. I love gadgets. Yes. This vehicle has got cooling seats and heated seats. You don't even get that in most vehicles in South Africa yet. The seat here is an air suspension seat, so what it means is oh. for rider comfort. So that makes the bumpy road much more convenient. Now, looking inside, uh, I see a lot of features, uh, starting with the sunroof there. What can you tell me about the cabin? You'll see we've got sunroof that's automatically open and closed, Ooh. mosquito nets, blackout nets. We've got mood lights for the evening. Oh. If you're inside, you know, to set that mood up for whatever you want to do. <laughs> we've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Oh. I've got a fridge freezer on the inside and about 10 USB ports. Now, after the driver has been driving for a long time and he wants to rest, uh, is there place for him to sleep? There is. We've got a double bunk bed inside as well that makes it just that bit more comfortable for the driver. All right. Jeepers weepers. Now, tell me about this uh, shiny little tank we've got here. So just an interesting fact if we're looking at trucks. This truck has now got a 540 litre tank, a standard, and you can add an optional 260 litre onto that. That gets us to about 800 litres of fuel we can put in. At the current fuel price, you're looking at about 17,600 Rand to fill this bad boy up. You'll need far less fuel to fill up an acrobatic plane, and while they may not match the S-Way's cargo carrying capacity, they sure kept the guests entertained with their aerial antics. After the break, we explore Iveco's rich history on both the local and international trucking stage. Fresh off a fly from Iveco's headquarters in Italy, Camelo Impeluso was also at the local launch of the SOA and Zipporah caught up with him to find out more about the importance of the new model for Iveco's South African lineup. Please can you tell us about the new SOA that has launched here today? I would say this is a new project that we launched in Europe uh, middle of 18, but uh, with the same platform we have been able to adapt this vehicle to South African missions that are tougher than in Europe. But the cab is completely new, very comfortable, and the driver will enjoy to drive this, this truck. So tell me what is the difference between the Euro trucks and the South African trucks in terms of spec? Apart the technology that in South Africa is still Euro 3, while, while in Europe we have a Euro 6 version, then strictly regulation related to CO2. We have here three different products. One is quite similar for the long haulage, they travel on the motorway and then uh, one model is quite more or less the same. The other two models have a higher bumper for a tough mission if you travel also off-road or you enter in the mine to transport coal. Suspension a little bit different, 
just to adapt uh, the product to the real mission uh, here in South Africa. So maybe you can tell us, do we say Iveco, 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 which one is it? You can choose. Important thing that you buy this truck. I always say to the customer, <laughs> I don't care about the name. <laughs> Whichever way you pronounce it, there's more to those five letters than you may think. Iveco is actually an acronym of Industrial Vehicle Corporation and the name first appeared in 1975 after a merger of Italian, French and German brands. The amalgamation and sharing of their combined technologies have resulted in a new industrial company with its own identity. Iveco is now a leading manufacturer of commercial trucks, buses and vans with over 25,000 employees worldwide. With a presence on five continents, the company has 27 production plants located in 16 countries. Outside of Europe, the company operates in Latin America, larger Asia and Australia. And after South Africa's first democratic elections, Iveco also entered the local market. The creation of the Iveco Daily has probably made the biggest impression. Its iconic status is a result of it continually reinventing itself for over 40 years. Near the end of 2021, the Italian Suzzara plant celebrated its 1.6 millionth daily to roll off its production line, a truly remarkable feat. Known for its reliability and durability, the 3-litre diesel engine has helped power many small businesses to greater success. Iveco also has a large presence in the passenger transport business. The company produces buses ranging from inner-city applications to long-distance cross-country transport. A true test of the robustness of the brand is its move to industrial vehicles. From tippers to cement trucks, the strength of the chassis has proven its worth. The toughness is also carried across to the daily 4x4, a true go-anywhere commercial vehicle in the style of the Mercedes-Benz Unimog, but far more user-friendly and more affordable, yet still offering the off-road capabilities like front, center and rear diff locks. Iveco's vehicles are renowned for their off-road prowess and have been involved in the Dakar Rally since 1982, crossing vast expanses of sand, dunes and canyons. This year, all three of their competing trucks finished in the top 10. Back on local soil, the company has an equally enviable reputation amongst transport companies and fleet operators. My name is Arno Kok. I am part of the ORT management team. Our core business is the transportation of bulk food products. Hi there, my name is uh, Philip Lewis. I'm the owner of TMC Logistics. We've got extensive knowledge within the freight and logistics business. I'm Rob Mordant. I'm one of the partners at Allied Transport. We uh, specialize in, in brake bulk freight. My name is Nico Wistazen. I'm the CEO of the NIDA Group. We specialize in commodities. What drew me to Iveco in the first place is the Italian Flair. It's a very nice looking truck, it's a very efficient truck. The truck tractor units were, were quite good in terms of additional payload. It's a really comfortable truck to drive. The fleet size currently running is close on 600. Iveco is within the first two or three in our fleet that we're currently running. I think it boils down to key communication. Iveco has got a very strong point in doing that. There's always a dealer strategically placed. There's a good back office, a good dealership network and very competent staff within the company to support a good relationship. And if we have a major breakdown, Iveco supply us with demo vehicles. The good thing of the maintenance contracts is the, the rate stays the same. It has to structure into your current customer's models. After the break, I find out just how agile Iveco's new workhorse is.
In keeping with the aviation theme of the SOA's local launch, Iveco treated delegates to helicopter flips over the Hartebeesport Dam and Machalisberg mountain range. And while Z was up with the birds, I decided to take the SOA for a spin. Or at least I rode shotgun while one of their experienced driving instructors showed me the ropes. Auto, it's plain simple, you just accelerate, it'll shift gears by, by itself, it'll downshift by itself as you, as you slow down. You can either drive it in, in auto mode or you can drive it manually. Manually is simply just flick up the gears, there it will go down, flick it down and it'll change back. Another one and it'll shift back. You see, it will blip the throttle for you, it'll do everything. There's your engine braking, you can hear it. Yeah. Right. There I'm adding the retarder now, and there you can you can feel you feel how the, how the retarder. That was only on stage two. Right. There's five stages. Five stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking about the braking system, I mean this is a 20-ton machine. Is there a chance that the the brakes may fail? Yes, yes. Like anything else, there's a possibility that the brakes might fail. However, this vehicle has got what we call a four-circuit brake system. Circuit one acts on the rear brakes. Circuit two acts on the front brakes, circuit three will act on the parking brake side and the trailer brakes, and circuit four is for auxiliaries, as things like the air in the seat, the router that works with the air, okay. uh, the shifting of the gears. So that's what we use auxiliaries for. So if I lose a circuit, there will be two remaining circuits that will assist you to still apply the brakes. So in theory, you should never run out of, out right. of brakes. There will always right. be a backup, backup system. I must say, while you're going over certain humps, you look unfazed because you just, you're going with the seats. Right. Very important. We refer to something that's called NVH, noise, vibration and harshness. Now, because this is a long distance truck, we need to get it as comfortable as possible. Now, the first thing that people don't realize is to eliminate vibrations. Because yeah. vibrations makes you tired. Yeah, that makes sense. If you drive a racing car or a car with a hard suspension, you can feel it and it's tiring. Yeah. It tires you out. Feel everything on the hence, road. Hence the reason, yeah, I don't have that shock on me. Yeah. It, it makes it less tiring, less fatigue, which means I can spend more time behind the steering wheel before I get tired. And remain focused. And rem that's, that's the big thing, is yeah. you need to, to remain focused. So we've been in the truck for a couple of minutes. What do you think? I mean, I'm speaking to you normally. I don't have to raise my voice. Yes, or and you're not like sitting that. right next to me. You're yeah. sitting way over there. Yeah, yeah no, it's 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 impressive. It, it, it's also, the sheer fun. space yeah. in here. Yeah. You know, I can I can literally stand up yeah. inside here. Yes, very important. Again, remember, a professional trucker or a trucker, this becomes his house. Yeah, this is where he stays. One of the most important things is when you stop, that you have got a spacious area a space to to be able to live in that's right and one of the yeah. things is have you ever tried to get dressed when when you crouch like this this is why this is so important so you can impossible. stand you can stand up and you can get dressed now we we've got the active safety features that we've got like in your car we've got adaptive speedo cruise that will pick up an obstacle it will apply the brakes for you it will warn you we've got lane keep assist so the moment you go out of your lane, it will buzz at you, it will warn you. It's all integrated, it's all in here. The other thing is, know your vehicle. Understand the technology. Yeah. Understand what's happening underneath you. Understand what's built into this vehicle to make you safer. I'm actually now getting the picture of, of how important truck drivers are because essentially they're also keeping the economy moving. They're transporting all these goods yes. across country. Yes, yeah. Yeah, everything that you buy in a shop is reliant on the truck driver. Right. Yes. Tell me about the mirrors. I mean, there's two over here, there's another one there, there's one there's Right. Anyway. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six mirrors that I need to cover and in front of me. Oh. So I've got seven points that I need to cover at all times and make sure what's going on. So yes, it does take a bit of, a bit of practice. And you've got to be very, very alert. Um, what do you need to do? So now I'm going to swerve. I'm going to go off the tar, full braking, off the tar onto the gravel. Okay. Yeah, watch this now. Okay, so here we go. Right, hit the brakes. We can't stop in time. So we go off and we stop onto the gravel and there we are. You can avoid accidents a lot like that. Yes. But 
it stops us just as well as a car. As a normal as car. car. Yeah. But you need to have done this. If you haven't done this before, if you haven't been on training where we teach you to do this, you won't have the confidence to actually do it. Trust the technology and very few people get the chance to actually do it in a safe environment, to trust the technology. It actually made it a non-event, but we saved the life. Yeah. We, we, we averted the accident. Yeah. Guys, please take your training seriously because this is nothing to joke about. Road safety is a serious matter, especially in South Africa, and the new S-Ways comprehensive list of active safety features should go a long way towards securing truck drivers and the precious cargo they carry. The driver trainer does an excellent job. There's quite a mind shift in terms of what the truck can do if you drive it correctly. In terms of safety, driver comfort, the truck has got everything that the driver basically needs. They've been very, very satisfied with the, with the Arvika Astralis. From a power and a comfort point of view, they always go on about being able to take their, their colleagues on the hills. The safety of the Iveco vehicles is quite good coming from Europe with all the safety standards within an African context. I think it's above average. When I joined ORT, we had a mixed fleet and um, we did some tests with different truck models and we ended up with Iveco. I think I would definitely recommend Iveco to our various partners that we deal with. Through the years, we have recommended the brand to our partners, competitors and, and friends in the industry and we will continue to do so. We're really excited to um, incorporate the new Esway into our fleet, the new look of the truck and all the new technologies fitted into the truck. We did have a, a sneak preview at one. The total cost of ownership will definitely be down. With fuel as the single highest cost driver in our operations, we need to have the most efficient truck on the road. Better fuel consumption on the Esway is, is one, of, one of our biggest expectations going forward. All the guys are tweaking at the moment uh, to give you the best product on the road and I do believe that Iveco is on the right track. The question is almost very simple. It is a leading world brand. Our pilot and then outfit. You see this drip I got it double breasted on. Hey. I'm actually quite jealous because I could have gotten, you know, the matching outfit, but that's cool. That's fine. It's not about me. It's about the truck over here. Time for a recap, no? Okay. Latest safety features? Check. Latest technology? Oh, yeah. Check. Style? I mean, did you see this thing? Ah, yeah? No, it's definitely a double check. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Aveco Sway. Sway. Or, or if you want to be official, S-Way. But I like Sway better. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, because I'm like this, ne, I have to go <laughs> and fly a machine. Can I come with? Please be my co-pilot. I'm not sure if we're safe, but I'll just come with. It's fine. 